You ready to go see Dr. Nikki? Here we go, folks. What you got there, baby? Where'd you get this bird? In there. I just put him back over there and one of the cats will eat him. Baby, you don't know what kind of disease, mice. He's hurt though, he spit, he's hurt. Hey, does, does this place look like a bird hospital to you? Do you see a sign out front that says, drop your birds off here? Do you think that maybe he's sick because he has some type of disease? Folks, th this is what you get when you got a village girl. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, Forrest G was here. My goodness, son. I don't know how he got that bucket of crackers down from the shelf. I have no idea. Forrest, you got a new swimming pool? Yeah, it's more like a little hot tub, but this one's easier to clean. The big one was just too big to clean. The old lady said she couldn't, she couldn't take it no more. You have a good time in this one. <laughs> I talked about this show before. This is the Rafi Tulfo. Uh, I would. Uh, I don't. That's not the purpose of this video. Okay. All right. So apparently, this good-looking chick right here broke up with a boyfriend named Joe Mar because he was posting bad stuff on Facebook. And look, and this young lady right here is an attorney, right? She's an abogado. She's an abogado on the Rafi Tulfo show. Beautiful lady. My goodness. Honey, they're not in. Listen, I'm not trying to thank you very much, but I'm not trying to tell the story. Okay, I have a different motive. All my single males out there, if you're looking for a beautiful girl that's single that just broke up with a boyfriend, all you do is go to this Rafi Tulfo in action, and it's a it's like Jerry Springer but with legality. You just just go watch Rafi Tulfo, and. You can find all kind of single, beautiful women that just got scorned by either their local boyfriend or their, uh, or, boy their, their honey, I'm trying to tell a story here. I, I don't care about all this cheesemus here. Look, I'm just telling you, look how beautiful this girl is. Uh, my goodness, just broke up with old Joe Moore, uh, for whatever reason, but apparently she's single, probably ready to mingle. So there you go. You want to know how to meet a beautiful Filipina? Sitting in your living room. Go to Rafi Tulfo in action. Watch his YouTube channel about these Filipinas complaining on their foreign or local boyfriend. And I don't know. Email Rafi Tulfo and ask for the girl's Facebook. I, I don't know. But look at that. Man, look, how could Joe Mar break up with that beauty right there? I have no idea. There you go, right there. Okay, she look. She I, look at here. It even tells you via messenger. She remains Salvador. Look at her, uh, beautiful. Who wants to marry that girl? There'd be a line about a thousand dudes long in two minutes. My goodness. Miss Ice Cream Eliminator here. All right. I wasn't trying to tell the story, honey. I'm trying to educate my viewers on how to meet beautiful ladies. Are you not going to share some ice cream with your son? Oh, uh, he already eating it. I don't see any chocolate on his face. Thank you, Maria. Oh, shit. Now we got Joe Mar on the scene. <laughs> Shout out to Joe Mar. Uh, but you know 100% this girl's single. Unless she's had a change of heart and got back together with this champion right here. But probably not. My goodness. Oh, hello. My goodness, Joe Mar, what were you thinking, dog? Bro, this chick right here is a damn movie star. My goodness. I mean, so is the Abogado. All right, I'm going to show you the title if you want to search it right there. 
Casino dealer at X. Now face off. Maria, can Papa sit in there with you? Where's where Papa sit? Back there? Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, Maria. Good job. Another dentist appointment, sweetie. Maria, can can I sit by you? Back there? Okay, sweetie. All right, folks, I'm up here trying to negotiate with this gentleman right here. All right, tell me one more time, man. How much is this one? Five? Five fifty, and, and that one is seven fifty. So um, one three for two. Yeah, all right, look at that. Load them up. I'm gonna fold the tables like that, folks. He'll serve my purpose, stimulate the economy, put some money in this gentleman's pocket here. All right, so he's loading them up on the truck. I got them for one three. That's twenty six bucks. Just make sure he's got some change. You got change for uh, five hundred, buddy? Change, sir. But yeah, you got I'm some sorry, change. All right, get some change for her. And while he's getting changed. Yeah. I'm gonna come over here. This young lady is selling mangoes. She got mangoes, sweet mangoes. All right, folks. Uh, this young lady here's got uh, mangoes, 160 per kilo, and I got 200 pesos. Is that 160? How about give me one more and make it 200? All right, I think I got 12. Hold 200, let me see if I got 12. That's some good looking uh, nuts right there too. All right, folks, so right here, if you want one of them tables, right here, you see my friend, they'll give you a good deal on one of these little folding tables. I picked up a piece of history. Look what I got you, baby. Look what I got you. Alright folks, stand by for the new and improved upgrades to the cooking section here. To the kitchen. I don't know if y'all saw it, but that's the new pool for the babies. That's more like a hot tub. Check this out. Boom! Paness! Look at that cooking station right there. Picked up that table for my friend up there and acquired a couple of pieces of history. So we don't burn the table now. Folks, there's no telling how many ladies danced on that piece, piece of tile. Oh, that one under there. It's a piece of history that I'm borrowing. So it's basically like a museum piece. But see, when this thing is hot, the lid is hot, I can just take it off, set it here. Not worry about scorching the wood. Got the tanks over here, sort of out of the way. Deployed this little bitty table as a water table. The babies can come over there and get water. I can get my cooking water over here. And it's still got uh, maybe a place to put some dishes right there, cups, what have you. Got the cooler. Now look, if I'm grilling, obviously there's a threat from the back. I'll have to mitigate that when I'm when I'm running the grill. But especially, all the old lady does is go over there and cook. Sometimes she's here by herself trying to tend to the babies. So now the babies can't, can't get over there while she's trying to cook. And supervise at the same time. So let me know what you think about my new setup there. Folks, I mean, this is like a kitchen remodel. But instead of paying $50,000, i have paid uh, less than 50 bucks. This is an award-winning kitchen right here. See, Maria can go over there and get her water Mommy. on that side. Look at this. I am really digging this setup here. All right, so here's what we're working with, vegetables. I'm just making some coconut, pork, vegetable soup tonight. It's going to be delicious. There's the pork over there. I was actually going to put that in the crock pot, but oh well. Okay, my cutting board. This cutting board comes out of this cooler. And what it does, 
if you didn't see my unboxing video, that cutting board goes right down through there in the middle. And this thing comes with this basket, which is a champion. Like, it's a great dish strainer. Uh, got a real good deal on this cooler. Really, really happy with this. I think it's legitimate. It's a Sub-Z. Used to be made in Texas. So I think they got all the overruns, the ones that didn't sell, or it could be a Chinese knockoff. But if it is, it's a damn good knockoff. I think it's original. You have to go back and check that video. Because see, the Chinese don't put fucking stickers like that unless the Americans make them do that. So I think this was original. May have been made in America, made in Texas. I don't know. Click that down. Always make sure to lock it up since I got two babies. Start chopping here. Just drop them off down here to the trash can. Too easy. Get a baby. Looking beautiful today, folks. Red shorts in in action. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, baby, shuck the corn for me. Huh? We call it shucking the corn. What's shucking the corn? It means peel the corn. What you think I'm talking about? That's not a sexual connotation. Okay? <laughs> but, you're so cute down there, baby. So pretty. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. honey. Babe, we got three ears of corn to shuck. There's one. There's two. The third one's the best, baby. Us when we go to work, the babies are playing, Give me that one. chilling. Wait, hey, here you go. There's number two. Get that one done. I'll give you number three. <laughs> She's so cute, folks. All right, I gotta get to chopping. Get this coconut chopper rocking on with it. Broken in time. Whoa! Look at that. Like a coconut chopper. You know what folks are gonna say, baby? They're gonna say, You cheap bastard, why don't you buy that girl a potato peeler? Making that girl peel potatoes with a damn machete, you son of a. Somebody should report you. Making that poor girl work like that. Baby, would you like for me to buy you a potato peeler? Huh? Is Say it again, what? This is easier. It's easier? Because we've had potato peelers before, right? But you didn't use them. No, it's hard because it's just... Okay. All right, there you go, folks. She said she would rather use a coconut oh. chopper because it's easier. That's okay, feel free, free. Go ahead and report me to immigration for making this poor girl work. Never mind the fact that I chopped all that first. I was gonna do the potatoes, she just don't like how I do them. So she came in here and tried to took out, take over. Because I don't, I don't want. I like to eat the peels, baby. I eat the peels. Not me. I like to eat the peels. I got extra protein in them, baby. Mm, milk does a body good, baby. All right, folks. Two number one is out of gas. And that was hooked up to this one here. So I had to swap them out. So I got get gas to this one. All right, so the only thing left to chop up. A piece of pork right here. Like I said, I was going to put that in the crock pot. The old lady likes to chop up the meat. I'm not going to argue with her. Because if I chop that up, I got grease all over my hands. I'm trying to handle a damn iPhone. So I'll let her go to work. Mm -mm. Folks, y'all see the stress I'm under? You see that girl? I have to wake up to that girl every damn day. You know how stressful that is? Alright, let's get in here. See what spices we're bringing to the fight, my friends. I got to get me some Spanish paprika. Obviously, I'm bringing the chili. 
bringing the ginger. I don't think I'm going with the turmeric. I'm not changing up the flavor tonight. Cayenne. Now, we always have to have these. Why? Because the old lady loves them. I could change it up, put the beef in there, and not tell her. Tell her it's pork. She don't really like the beef. Oh, damn, there's a bottle opener. I've been looking for that all day. Check this. Is this pork? No, that's beef. I'm going to put beef in there. I ain't going to tell her. Get some bread down in there. Damn, I didn't get my coffee this morning. Baby, your hair looking beautiful today. That little red clip you got. Wow. Maganda, Maganda, Maganda. Maganda alert. I might have to put some banjo music to my own wife number two here. It's looking so good. baby skin net <laughs> baby why'd you throw that away i could use that for fishing bait Where are you going to fish? oh shit i'm sorry for a minute there i thought i was in the backwoods of mississippi gonna use that to go catch me some catfish yeah just go ahead and throw that in the trash damn guy can dream can he sweet country music where have you gone? Shout out, man. Rich Blue on, too. Love it, man. Love that video. Baby, I've been listening to Sturgill Simpson while I cook, baby. Then I'll put your Western on. my soup i'm gonna put the uh coconut milk and brown sugar you don't want brown sugar look at this folks absolutely delicious coming in here putting that sauce on there right there look at that coming in there like a champion on that bed of rice and the foreign guy loves the gravy. Mm, mm, mm. One more.